It would be easy for the casual observer to overlook, but there's a crucial aspect of the legal system that's facing shortages across the country right now. Court reporters, those are the people that type down every single word that's said in court for the official record. Joe Paris is in the studio to explain how the shortage is affecting Idaho and the consequences it could have for the future if that shortage isn't figured out. Joe? Well, D, right now nationwide, there is a court reporter shortage of about 5,000 people. And here in the Gem State, that problem is really starting to show up more and more as courtrooms are having trouble filling those open positions. As more and more court reporters are retiring, some fear that there could be a major issue in the near future. We are the official record of what happened in that courtroom, so without us, there is no record. Andrea Couch, president of the Idaho Court Reporters Association, is one of many people trying to fix an Idaho problem before it gets worse. We have a severe shortage of court reporters currently in Idaho. If we don't have anyone to keep the record, the legal proceedings cannot go on. And it's very important to have a person there recording the proceedings. You may have seen a court reporter typing away in a courtroom or maybe on your favorite courtroom drama. Their job is simple to keep a record of everything that happens in court. And while the function is simple, not having a reporter can complicate and potentially damage the legal process. Legal situations are, it's people's lives. And if you don't have an accurate record of what's taking place in the courtroom and outside of the courtroom, it's very detrimental. There are courtrooms that have gone to technology to try and make up for the lack of court reporters, but Couch explains that solution has flaws. There have been cases of courtrooms that have gone digital and have digital recordings and you have someone that forgot to hit record before we started. And we've, they've had to redo an entire trial before where someone's life is on the line. Nationwide, there is a court reporter shortage of about 5,000 people. And Couch says here in Idaho, she believes that comes down to a few things. The majority of our official court reporters are reaching retirement age. So in the next five to 10 years, there very likely could be a mass exodus of court reporters in Idaho. And if we don't have new reporters to fill those positions, it's really going to affect the legal community very negatively in Idaho. Another issue highlighted by some is the pay for court reporters in Idaho. Idaho is facing a critical uh, lack of court reporters. It is unprecedented in Idaho and it is a persistent challenge. To fight the challenge of below par salaries, Idaho Administrative Director of Court Sarah Thomas has asked legislators to boost salaries for court reporters in the state budget. If those positions aren't filled and records aren't kept, Thomas explains that there could be major consequences. That means if a record is not kept and someone is convicted of a crime, that conviction will be vacated if there is not an adequate record for review. Couch says the solution is rooted in getting the word out to current students about the job and the opportunities it can create. For students that are interested in school, it's a program that you can get in and out of in about two years. And when you get out of school in two years, you can right out of school be making $50,000, $60,000 a year. And if the proposed budget item does go through as it was proposed to JFAC, state court reporters would see their pay go from an average of about $54,000 to about $59,000. Now for those interested, the National Court Reporters Association actually has a free six-week program to introduce the profession. And Project Steno also offers resources and scholarships for students interested in it as well. And we have links to those resources in this story on our website, ktvb.com. Is that profession fairly secure for the future, given the technology aspect? I, I would imagine they want to get those bugs worked out of it first, but how secure is that, do you think, Joe? Well, Dee, I, I was talking to the professionals today, and they say there is a lot of technology out there that courtrooms are using, but they're telling me for now it's just not to the point where it can do everything perfectly. And when you have a legal system, again, maybe someone's life's at risk, you really need to make sure that everything works perfectly. And also, it was explained to me that there is more error for the technology currently used than there would be with the human brain. Well, that's kind of yay for human brains, yep, isn't it? All that's right. job security. All right, thanks a lot, Joe.